Hi, and welcome to Melel. My name is Eyal, and in this video, we will continue exploring Melel's auto-title feature and talk in depth about the outline. Before we start, make sure you are familiar with the basic auto-title concepts and operations, like inserting, editing, and changing auto-titles. You can learn about these in the auto-title basics video. You might also want to watch the configuring auto titles video, but it is not required to watch it in order to understand what is shown in this video. The outline is a pane in Melel's document window that shows all the auto titles in your document and allows you to add and edit auto titles. In addition to that, you can also make large-scale edits to your document by reordering and deleting big sections of the document. To see the outline, choose View Outline. You can also click the Show Hide Side Pane button to open the side pane. The side pane contains three tabs, Outline, Story, and index. The story and index panes are covered in other videos. In this video, we'll concentrate on the outline pane. The outline shows you all the auto titles in your document. Every item in the outline corresponds to an auto title in the text. Clicking on an outline item scrolls the document view to show the corresponding auto title in the text. You can zero in on specific items using the filter field. Click on the filter field and type E, I, N, and the outline display is reduced to show you only the matching items and their ancestors. Click on the item in the outline to see it in the text. Delete the text in the field or click the X icon to clear the field and show you the full outline. You can edit an auto title in the outline by clicking on the auto title item once to select it, pausing a bit, and then clicking again. Type a new title. When done, click outside or type Command plus Return. The change is reflected immediately in the document text. You can also edit the title by double clicking the outline item to expand it and typing in the title field. The expanded outline item allows you to edit all the auto titles details. In addition to the title, you can also assign an auto title stream, and you can edit the item's metadata, which we'll discuss next. Metadata is information you can assign to an auto title. This information is not visible or affecting the final output but helps you during the writing and editing process. You can use metadata to write comments, mark areas that need a review, categorize items, and more. If not open already, open the item for editing in the outline. You can type a remark, add tags, and apply a marker. Click the close button to collapse the item. Note that the outline item is now highlighted with a marker and that it has an icon. The icon comes from the first tag set to the auto title. By default, comments are not shown, but you can make them visible by clicking the toggle showing remarks button. Beside being visible in the outline, the metadata can be used to filter the outline. For example, I set the comment for this item to be the dog is sleeping. If I type sleep in the filter field, I can focus on that item. I can also filter based on a marker by choosing a marker in the marker filter pop-up menu. And finally, I can use the Tag Filter pop-up menu to filter items with a certain tag.
In addition to editing auto title attributes, we can also use the outline to rearrange our document structure. Our document contains three chapters. Chapter 1 is animals, chapter 2 is plants, and chapter 3 is people. Let's rearrange this so that plants will be the first chapter, followed by animals and then people. Click on chapter 2 to select it and then drag it up before animals and after table of contents. The entire text of the plants chapter was moved before the animals chapter and the chapters were appropriately renumbered. Of course, we are not limited to chapters when editing the structure. Let's also rearrange the subchapters in the people chapter by date of birth. Of the three people here, Albert Einstein was born first, so his location at the beginning of the chapter is OK. But Neil Armstrong was born before Paul McCartney, so let's fix that. Click the Armstrong item and then drag it above McCartney. That looks correct. You can also use the outline to remove parts of the document. To do that, click the part once to select it and then type Command plus Delete. Melel removed the entire chapter and all its contents and, of course, renumbered the remaining chapters. Let's undo that last change since I deleted the chapter just to demonstrate the delete operation. When we created our document in the Autotitle Basics video, we started with the full text of the document and added headings and captions, but sometimes, perhaps most of the time, the workflow is the other way around. You start with a blank page, outline the structure of the document, and then fill the gaps with the text. We can use the outline to rapidly outline our document. Let's start a new document. Open the outline pane and click the plus button. This creates an auto title with the first stream. Type your title and then type return. Melel created a new auto title of the same level. We want this item to be on the next level, so let's click the increase level button or use the keyboard shortcut command plus closing square bracket and type our sublevel title. Type return and another item of the same level is opened. Give this item a title and type return. Yet another item is created. Type another title. Typing return now will create another item, but we would like just to finish editing this title, so instead we will type command plus return. Once we finished editing, we are out of the outlining mode. To get back to the flow, start editing a title. Click the item once and type return. We want to add an item below this one, so let's type return. Type our item title. Now I see that it is not on the right level. I wanted the tiger item to be a child of the animal's item, not a sibling. Let's fix this by indenting the element. Click the Increase Level button. Type Return and type the title for the next item. Note that the level remains the same. Type Return and type another title. Type Command plus Return to get out of outlining mode. Now that we've outlined the structure, we can go ahead and work on the text. Click on an item and then type Tab. The insertion point moves to right after the auto title in the text. We can now type return and start working on our text. Going back to our main document and looking at the outline, it is showing the structure in a nice way, but perhaps it is a bit cluttered. I see two issues here. 
First, the image captions are shown in between the structure autotitles. This gives us an idea where they are positioned in the text, but makes it harder to see the structure. The second issue is that the chapter headings include the word chapter, which is great when the headings show up in the text, but a bit redundant in the outline, which needs to be concise. The first is very easy to fix. Click on the Toggle Combined Separate View button at the bottom of the outline, and all items belonging to caption streams are listed separately. This display has two advantages. You can see the structure more clearly, and you can access the images more rapidly and precisely. For example, if you want to quickly go over all the images in the document, all you need to do is to click the items in this list one by one, which is easier than hunting them down inside the general outline. Now, let's take care of the second issue, which is how the chapter autotitles appear in the outline. Choose Insert, Autotitle, Configure Autotitles to open the autotitle configuration sheet. The appearance of autotitles in the outline is controlled by the Outline Format, so let's click on the Outline Format tab. Here we have five items stacked one on top of the other. Every item corresponds to an autotitle stream. We want to change the appearance of chapter autotitles in the outline, so we should edit this item. Click the Edit button and the item will open for editing. By default, the format here is a duplicate of the main format, the format used to display the titles in the main text. This format consists of the word chapter, followed by the level number, followed by a colon, and the title, the chapter name. Let's remove the word chapter. Let's also remove the colon and just leave a space between the number and the chapter title. Note that the paragraph and character palettes are disabled here. We can't set the alignment or font to the outline format. The outline format is plain text, so we're just dealing with the text and dynamic elements in the format. Click OK to apply changes. Looking at the outline, it is definitely looking less cluttered, but perhaps we can do better. The chapter number is not really needed here. Let's remove that. Open the Configure Autotitles sheet. Click on the Outline Format tab. And open the format for the chapter stream. Select the level number element and following space, and delete. Click OK to apply the changes. The chapter items now appear without the number. As I mentioned before, you cannot set character or paragraph attributes to the outline format. The reason for this is that the outline is a tool that you use while you write and edit your manuscript. It is not part of the finished product. As such, it doesn't really need to use fancy fonts or show chapter headings differently than subchapter headings. The hierarchy and structure are conveyed in the outline using indentation and the order of items. By default, the outline is using the system font at 11 point size. This is a compromise between readability and the number of items you can fit in the display. A large font is more readable but you see less items at once. A small font allows to fit more items at once, but is less readable. If you feel the text in the outline is too small or too big, you can set it to a different size. Choose Melel, Preferences, and then click on the Document Setup tab. Locate the Outline Font Size pop-up and choose a different font size. Let's choose 20. The outline font changes immediately. This is certainly more readable, but perhaps a little too big. Let's choose something more sensible. For example, 14. This is looking better. As with all preferences, changes we make here apply to all documents, so you don't need to repeat this setting with every document.
That's it for the outline video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. We covered a lot, but there's still much more to see with auto titles. We will continue our auto title journey in the following videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.